Welcome to ATDI. This is ICS Manager. I'll show you how you can use ICS Manager to produce a basic coverage for a base station like, for example, P25. First, um, I'll show you the layers we have here um, the digital elevation model. So, this is showing the, the elevation of the terrain in the area here. You see, there's some hills here some low ground here, high ground here. Now if I switch this to a different palette I can see that this is the highest spot in the, in the map, also these ones and when you move the mouse you can actually read the values on the top here. You can read the longitude, the latitude, the elevation of the terrain, the clutter and also the field strength if you did any simulation. You can also do quick measurements, for example, from that spot here to that spot here. That would be about 2.4 or 2.5 kilometers. You read them from here. Now, if I show you the rest of the layers, we have something called the clara. Some people call it the ground occupancy. So this is how you use the terrain top. For example, you have urban areas, suburban areas, industrial areas. You have rail, you have roads, you have tunnels so each one of these is, um, have certain characteristics or certain parameters you need to configure for example the, the height of the urban area or the dense area now also we have the image so here the image is actually coming directly from from Google or from Bing server you can change the source here, roads Google Street, Google Physical, Google Aerial. Alright, for now I'll stick with the Google Street and let's add a station, a base station with some parameters quickly. I choose to put the base station um, somewhere here. Add a station. I can select here, for example, P25, P25 FDMA or TDMA. Okay, I put the power here something like um, 20 watts, and then again, mm, not more than 11 omni antenna. System losses say 1.2 or 0.8 on the downlink and there also the uplink. Now frequency, you, if you have um, a plan pre-selected, you can just select from it, or alternatively, I can just. Um, punch in the numbers. For example, I'm going to use a frequency um, 450 as an example here. The height of the base station supports it's about 20 meters. 12.5 is the is the bandwidth. I can use the 6 I can use uh, the 625 for example as well. The narrow band. Okay. Now the patterns here, I can I can choose an uh, an omni antenna or I can pre-select a different antenna. These are the antenna parameters you can choose. You can change, you can import from different vendors, frequencies if you have multiple channels broadcasted from the same station. This is enough for now. Now I have a base station here. If you want to display um, some extra parameters. Um, I want to, for example, display a site. I'm going to display the site with a pointing to and antenna pattern. So we have now this base station here. I can just display some information like the frequency. Now I want to do basic um, prediction for this. You can, I can set the propagation model which model to use. We've got a collection of propagation models like um, 1546, 1812, 5 to 5, 5 to 6. It's a well-referenced um, propagation model. I'm going to use 5 to 5, they go on 1994 for the diffraction geometry and uh, some sub-pass attenuation. You can choose a 3D coverage if you want to as well to do ray tracing. Now uh, this is a propagation model. I'm going to set the threshold for the receiver. Um, you can re you can use one of the predefined values, or you can just um, use the vendor specification. 
for example for example I'm gonna stick with the 40 40 dB which is equal to neg 90 dBm you can choose um, different antenna um, reference for example half wave dipole 50 ohm or 75 ohm receiver okay close now let's do coverage prediction so I'm gonna go around the base station up to four kilometers um, that the antenna uh, receiver is what's supposed to be one, one meters one meter your receiver height and distance about four kilometers away from the base station hit start and let's get the coverage so now the software is actually calculating the, the field strength or the power received in every pixel on the map whenever you move the mouse over over any point on the map the software can retrieve for you the, the power received at that spot you can of course export this into different formats for example Google Earth or, um, or Map Info you can vectorize this layer and produce um, um, a shape file okay it, it takes a while because this is um, a high resolution or it's a, it's a good resolution project you have five meter step Okay, this is my coverage. This is my coverage. I can change the colors in the user palette here. I can choose different values. All right, now this is here means at the edge of the coverage here. Red is um, is a good signal. Brown is a, is a very good signal. Green is an excellent signal yellow is that so the best signal you can get so this is showing how how the how how the signal behaves in, in, in different areas around the base station so see the coverage can't make it here obviously for 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 some terrain reasons for example if I want to inspect the terrain why signal doesn't travel from from the base station location all the way to here you see you've got here some high ground here and the receiver is behind the hill or behind the high ground and this is causing the drop of the signal okay so when you when you move the mouse over any spot here you can read the the field strength received or the power in dbm and i can choose to export this for example here i can go and export it to google earth save it somewhere and launch Google Earth and finish now Google Earth automatically opened and should take you to, to the area where, where I have the coverage exported So here you see the coverage overlaid in Google Earth. You can easily notice here the the signal quality is is much better on the in the roads in the open areas. So this is a basic coverage for a P25 in um, in an urban environment thank you for following and um, let's go to the next one